Hi, my name is Tony Short. I'm the Chief Experience Officer at Shortlist Agency. I started in event planning 20 something years ago and I've been really lucky to work in many different roles. I started off in Australia working in uh, smaller companies, then I moved to London and worked with BBC doing their events globally. Then I was uh, amazingly lucky enough to come into Linda and Associates um, back in the early 2000s where I met Rebecca and, and I learned so much stuff from that team. It was such an opportunity to see things from the client side, which I'd never done before. I'd always been in-house. And I learn about budgets, I learn about profitability, I learn about making decks, really looking at things from every angle to see how we can, not only what we could propose and ideas that we could come up, but really running through that feasibility too to make sure that what we were proposing would actually work and they could afford it and, and we knew how to do it and we could work out how to put it all together. So I, I learned a lot from Linda, it was a great experience and I think it was an environment where we were all in it together. There was a great sense of camaraderie and, um, and team spirit. And we were able then to, to teach each other and, and learn all the different tricks and share all of our expertise across the, the patterns and different parts of event planning. What challenges I see in the event planning world is really you don't know what you don't know. And I think only through experience and through talking to people, asking questions and learning about different things is, is the opportunity to, to find out more, to expand your brain. Like for me, I want to ask the AV, why are we doing that? And, and how can't we, why can't we do this? Or maybe with the catering, could we do it this way? And that, that's really how I've expanded myself. I learn a lot by doing things wrong and by kind of getting caught with, with um, things that didn't go well. And then from there, I was able to sort of troubleshoot and work it out. And uh, it was a great experience to be able to build up my, um, my skill set by learning different things and talking to other people to catch on new stuff. Things I learnt, things that I think are important as a, uh, as a beginning event planner or, or someone learning the business is really for me to look at it from all angles. Uh, you want to look at the budget, why you're doing things, how then it, it, it affects things in terms of how you're going to build it, how you're going to make it, what people you need to do that, how are you going to take it out on the reverse. We always forget the loadout and, and often things aren't and thought about from the reverse side. So f a lot of things I learned from Linda and Associates or Linda Global was really around um, looking at things from every angle and really looking at that um, possibility of what it could be, asking why we're doing it and, and really digging deeper into finding out how we can make it different or make it better. Uh, a lot of people come to me um, and ask like how to find new jobs and change jobs within the event industry. I often say really what, what makes you excited about events because there's so many angles you can hit events. You can come in and catering, you can come in at events, you could be production, you could be in-house at a hotel, you could be at a venue, you could be in-house at a company or you could be with an agency. And that's one of the biggest pieces of advice that I give young, young people or people starting in the industry of like what makes you excited? Do you like put putting the whole thing together, do you like just the food element, are you more of a techie, and really looking at the different parts and the different pieces of the industry to then work out where you fit best and how you could basically sort of uh, penetrate you know, the job or the industry from a different direction. And even just to get experience, I think there's great experience in, in, in understanding how a venue works and great experience in how AV works. So for me, it's really looking at all the different pieces of the puzzle, how they all come together, and then how you could be a part of that in a different way without having to be a, a straight event planner sort of in an agency as such. I think one of the things I learnt that has taken me further is it's really to ask questions and to ask why. Like why are we doing this? And 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 why does it make a difference? Like what are we what are we trying to achieve and how do we get everyone on board to be able to not only understand the end goal, but then to work together to see if there's a better way to do things. Often you've got many people coming to the table with different levels of expertise and different levels of experience from you know the A V side or the planner side and, and getting together and really asking why and sitting down to be able to actually help each other find out what the solution is rather than just being like this is how we've always done it or this is how we usually do it and or this is what we've done before so let's just do it that way again. So I like to ask why. Why are we doing it? How can we do it differently? How can we look at this from an angle that maybe it saves more effort, more time, more money? Is that the best way to spend your money? Is that the best way to 
um, achieve a certain goal. And I think once you sit down and really work with the people that you have around me, you'll find you come with bigger solutions than maybe you ever thought about in the beginning.